channel. So I watched the documentary The Story of Plastic recently. I, actually I watched it just the time and uh, it's every time I feel like I'm just so fed up, frustrated and hopeless with plastic. The story of plastic begins with Back in the 1960s, when plastic becoming popular, people were celebrating it because plastic was so cheap, it was so flexible, you can make it into any shape, it was so sanitary, you can wash it, reuse it, and it was such a lightweight, you can use it for many different things. People were celebrating way too early because now, 70 years after we are facing this dynamic of plastic issue globally and it's just the problem is so big and it's so severe is is so dramatic but so many people are still not paying attention and the big companies the oil companies are still making huge profit out of it and it is on the price of our global warming, our marine life and human health. So, number one, I think the biggest problem for plastic is is toxic to humans and animals. So, just to give one simple example, I'm sure we all experience. Like, for example, when you put your, your pasta sauce in a plastic container, the, the orange red sauce color kind of get inside of the plastics so what made us think that the plastic the toxics the chemicals from the plastic the from the plastic is not getting into our food and we can see a lot of animals and marine birds and things like die because of eating plastics or because of entangled by plastics and i'm going to put like pictures here with the turtle with the bird and all that number two is pollution right like you can see pictures here pictures here is polluting our planet it plastic waste is in every corner of the world is on the great wall of china is in every ocean is in every sea is in every beach is everywhere and even though we can go clean it but that's not the solution because the waste get into those areas is much faster than you could pick it up so the solution is to have those corporations who make money out of it stop it before they can find a solution to deal with the waste of plastic and the number three biggest uh, problem with plastic is for the fishing men and fishing industry um you know we have a huge population on earth those people are their life is depend on fishing and their income is from fishing and today according to the interview in the documentary the fishermen in the philippines whatever he or she get from the ocean 40 percent of all that is plastic. Okay, so number four, I think the biggest problem is plastics is causing global warming because we all know plastics is the end product or is the waste product of fuel, right? From gas, oil, and coal, and all that. So like big oil companies like you know Chevron and Shell, they used to have to pay a fee to dispose it. So. So today they find a way to make plastics and the people love it and we keep buying and sometimes we can even get it for free and that's even the bigger problem because when we get it for free we don't think of reuse it or recycle it or we don't want to do anything with it we just feel like so good just threw it away because we get it for free so plastics causes global warming and because it's a waste product of another product that causes global warming is and it's the production of it right it uses energy it pollutes the air to to produce plastics from the end to the waste product and it's the transportation to all over the world and of course the the very last is the waste those are some of the biggest problems that plastic is causing us today of course there are a lot more 
And so as an individual and consumer, what I think I could do my part to stop uh, plastic waste or plastic pollution. I think there are many, many ways we can do it. For example, in terms of shopping, I think a lot of plastics happen when we go shopping or at shopping in in a store. So what ha what what I do is I always bring my shopping bag. This is a bag I got from Provence. So I was in Provence maybe four years ago. So I've been using this bag for four years, all the time, every week. And this is the kind of bags I would bring to the store or bring to the market when I go buy produce. And so this farmer, everything is for a dollar fifty a pound. So I can just mix and match and put everything in this bag. So during COVID, though, I'm not sure if your own bag is allowed, but I always check. And this kind of bag is perfect because it doesn't weigh anything. And this is my day bag, the bag I carry around almost daily when I go about to the store. Sometimes I buy a couple small items I can just put in a bag and it feeds my kids, water bottle, everything. Sometimes even my hat when it's not really sunny I don't need to wear it and when I can get it for free it's even better. So this one is from work. So this is, those are shopping bags and Number two is when we buy things, we try to buy it with minimum package. For example, this is couscous. This is a container of couscous from five years ago. So what I do is I bring this empty couscous bottle to the store. When they have those bulk, um, you can just fill it and go check out. And during COVID, when it was not allowed, I would buy couscous. And this is number four, choose paper package instead of plastic packaging. So this is couscous in the paper packaging. It's, it's way better. Because right? water is um, composed way faster than plastic and the trees can grow back uh, instead of plastics will take years and years, hundred actually a few hundred years to compose. And when I buy, I also go to Costco, which is a wholesale store. You can buy a big pack uh, for example, sugar, flour, beans, and all things like that. And you can just put it in the container at home and instead of buy little packagings. So this is what I what we could do in terms of shopping. But what about every day at home? I think there are so many ways we can reduce plastic usage. For example, I always bring my water bottle. And so if um, this is one from work and is insulated, so it will keep my beverage cold for a few hours and I always bring my coffee mug this is from my last work secondly do not use plastic straw because straws is always a single use you, you, it's very hard to reuse a straw basically it's hard to clean it and number three is use period underwear instead of uh, um, tampons or pads because those are also has pl plastics in it and also we don't really want to insert plastics inside our body right and number four is choose quanti quality over quantity so when we buy something buy good quality um it will last long even though it has plastics but if we use it for a few years 10 years 20 years i think that's okay i think we in today's life we cannot avoid plastic hundred percent however we can choose wisely choose a good quality and make it last number five is order nice takeout because a lot of restaurants use plastic containers for takeout uh, particularly i never would order it because when hot food in plastic container i first of all i don't think it's safe especially doing it repeatedly number six Use lemon juice or vinegar to clean the house. You can use that to clean your countertop, your toilet, your sink, instead of using those chemical products which um, come in with a plastic container. And number seven, avoid individual packaging. What I'm talking about here is like, you know, those like shampoo individual package, sugar individual pack. Um, travel size individual things. So what I do is I have those 
individual not individual like small size travel size containers that's when i fill in my shampoo conditioner face wash and all that and bring it with me instead of buying those uh, one time use or travel size um okay number eight is offer items like we no longer lead to the community uh, instead of throw it away because there's always someone out there that could use it and also buy items second hand so like for example this container i showed in one of my goodwill find video is a perfect ceramic bowl um you can use this instead of a plastic container is much safer for food and it's much safer the door just shut there's a little wind and it's much safer in the microwave so and it's a second hand so it's like a win-win and win situation for me so those are a few ways i think we would use in terms of shopping and also everyday life to save our plastic usage and i hope it helps and i really hope everyone find an hour and 30 minutes in your life and go watch this um documentary on youtube for free and so i'm going to link the link below and i want to thank you so much for watching and we can all come together and uh, save the planet together and thank you bye bye